If you don't know already, there is a lot of buzz going on around the 2023 NBA Draft. It's one of the most athletically gifted draft classes I have ever seen. I usually don't talk about the NBA Draft on this channel. I don't plan on talking about the NBA Draft too much on this channel either. It usually is just NBA content for me, and that's the plan moving forward. But one name at the top of all of the hype around this class really stood out to me, and I think you can guess who it is. Also, it's actually two players. I think you can guess who the other one is as well, and he will be getting his own video soon as well. But the one I'm going to be talking about in this video is friend center Victor Wembanyama. Wembanyama has been a name that has had a lot of hype around it over the past few years. He's viewed as the best international prospect and maybe the best overall prospect since Luka Doncic. And to put it simply, he defies reality when it comes to what a basketball player is. Here's the elevator pads on Victor Wembanyama, a 7 foot 5 center that has the fluidity of a guard, the defensive intangibles of an all time great big, with the potential to be a soft creator and good passer. If I was in that elevator hearing this pitch, I would call you crazy and believe that you just made that up. Because that doesn't seem like something that should be possible. But it is something that is possible and does exist, and it breaks my mind when I watch the tape. Victor Wimbanyama has an absurd frame. He stands at 7 foot 4 barefoot, 229 pounds with an 8 foot wingspan. Now he's not the first tall player we have ever seen, but a trend we see with players this tall is they usually lack the athleticism and movement skills to be impactful at the NBA level. They can be clunky and awkward with slow feet, but like I mentioned in the elevator pits, that's far from a problem with Wemby. Wemby has unreal movement skills. It's something I find very hard to comprehend when watching the tape. He moves like a guard or a wing, and it's something that would be insane if he was 5-6 to six inches shorter than he actually is, let alone at his actual height. He's so fluid as an athlete. He moves well, straight line north to south, and laterally east to west. And this is the foundation of what makes him so special as a prospect. But being a generational athlete is only one part of the equation. I think there's a chance that Wemby ends up being the best defensive prospect I've ever evaluated. And that includes guys like Chet Holmgren, Evan Mobley, Oneko Kongu, and Jaron Jackson Jr., who are all special defensive prospects in their own right. Wemby has the mobility to play multiple defensive coverages. He can drop, he can switch, and he can hedge. He's very smart defensively at his age, and his 8 foot wingspan can make him a threat to all through shots, even if it doesn't seem like it's possible. His shot blocking is elite already, he times his blocks very well, and again, he uses his physical gifts to his advantage. It's not something I would expect or push to believe that could happen because I do think what Evan Mobley and Herb Jones did impact wise as rookies on defense is very rare, especially at that age. But it wouldn't shock me if Wemby had that kind of impact on defense as a rookie in the NBA. That's how special he is on that end of the floor. Now offense is something I have a bit more of a question mark with Wemby about, but that's also just being compared to how great he is on defense already. He reminds me a lot of Evan Mobley as a prospect in a sense that he can take away the offense and they still probably are a lottery to top 10 pick based off what they can do on defense. And you can take away the defense and they still probably go top 3 based off their offensive potential alone. I would say Wemby is a lot more potential than substance right now on offense. With ASVL, he is somebody that did not do a lot on offense. He wasn't used that way as a focal point. And people will get his numbers from that season and think he's overrated because the scoring numbers aren't great to say the least. I also probably butchered that name for the team. My bad. But his offensive numbers were better with FIBA U19 in 2021, and one game in particular really stood out to me. In a game that featured Chet Holmgren and Jay Nivey, two future top 5 picks, both of which I had top 3 grades on as prospects, a 17 year old Victor Wimpanyama was the best player on the floor, and I don't even think it was close. He had 22 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 blocks, and he dominated Chet in that game which I don't view as a knock on Chet. He's an incredible young talent with all the potential in the world, but it also speaks to just how good Wemby is, dominating two elite prospects in a game while being two years younger than both of them. 
Wimby has potential to be a three level scorer that also does traditional big man stuff. He should see more opportunity with the Metropolitans as a main offensive scoring option, which he has shown a lot early on with them. Now there are going to be rough patches with bad shots and decision making issues, but he's already had some big scoring games and the tape is even more impressive than just looking at the numbers and the highlights. He has legit shooting potential both off the catch and off the triple. His handle is really good for someone that tall, he has good touch around the basket, but he does need to put it all together and it's clear that he hasn't yet on tape. But he's only 18 years old and I have all the confidence in the world that he will eventually figure this out. He has real potential as a passer as well in my opinion, he reads the floor pretty well and he throws some passes that just don't make sense for a player this young and this tall. He's able to see over the defense which helps but I'm also just impressed with his vision in general. Like with his scoring ability, I do think he needs to put it all together when it comes to his passing and it's also clear that he hasn't put it all together yet. He can be ambitious at times and force the issue, but in general with his offense, this guy is the limit for what he can be. And I think in an environment like the Metropolitans where he's going to get the basketball in his hands more, it can lead to some really good development results and I'm excited to see it this upcoming season and I think it's going to be really good for his development. It's fine for him to need to work on things and figure it out because unless you're Luka Doncic, you're going to need to work on things on your offensive side of the basketball at that young of an age. Wimbanyama is up there with Luka, Zion, Cade, and that other prospect that I will be making my own video about for him that's also in this draft class for the best prospects I've ever evaluated. I would say he's closer and probably better than Cade and that other prospect, I think you can probably guess who it is by now, than he is to Zion or Luka as prospects per se. Luka and Zion are players I think could have been all-star level players if they were allowed to enter the league and play at 18 years old as rookies, and I don't think Wemby is quite that. But I do think he has the highest ceiling of all of those players that I just mentioned. And I think he would have been the first overall pick in the 2022 NBA Draft if he was eligible, and he's the favorite to go first overall in 2023 for a good reason. He's an absolute cheat code. But there is one prospect going into the year that I think is a lot closer to Wemby than people are saying that he is, and I'll be talking about that prospect in his own video. Don't worry. But that's the end of this video. If you made it to this point, thank you so much. Again, haven't already, like, subscribe, and notification bell notified whenever I release a video. I'm making videos about basketball all the time, so if that's something that interests you, I really think you enjoy this channel. And liking and subscribing are the best ways you can help support me, help me grow as a content creator so I can make more content for you guys moving forward. I have other content that I'm working on that isn't related to basketball. I have a video that should be coming out by hopefully mid-October, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's not related to basketball, it'll be on my video essay channel, link that channel in the description below, in the pinned comment, talking hoops, not hoops, anime, and other things over there, so if that interests you, you can check that out, two videos from that channel popping up over here, one video YouTube will recommend from this channel popping up on the other side, click the icon in the middle to subscribe if you haven't already, or check out other videos on this channel. With that being said, have a nice day. I'll see you guys in the next one. That was the messiest outro I've ever done.